Very important, very good news to report this morning. The U.S. government has confirmed the world is not going to end on the 21st of this month. Thank God. All right. A post on USA.gov says the Mayan predictions that the end is near are simply not true. Oh, no matter. Thank you. Yes. Ooh. Some people are still getting ready, not including Willis. Natasha Zavis met up with a so-called doomsday prepper in San Diego. With his gas mask on and machete in hand, Nico Sanchez says he's ready for December 21st. It means possibly the end of the world. I do know about the Mayan calendar. I have done some research on it. The Mayan calendar only extends to December 21st, 2012. Some people interpret that as a prediction for the end of the world on that date. I've seen how horrific people can be when they really want to be. Sanchez is a Gulf War veteran. Now he's a prepper, prepared to survive the worst, and he trains others to do the same. How to pack a bug out bag with medication, a light source, and food for years. It's a growing phenomenon. He's only one of 102 confirmed preppers in San Diego. People getting prepared for December 21st this year should be prepared for any possible scenario, whether it be the end of days, civil unrest, nuclear attack, flood, hurricane, earthquake. That's why Sanchez and 102 other preppers are spending hundreds stockpiling bunkers like these with MREs. Those are meals ready to eat and other tools to help them survive the end of the world. But Maya archaeologists say it's just a waste of money. It's gotten so out of hand because we live in a, in a world which loves the end of the world. Dr. Mark Van Stone is a leading Maya archaeologist and author of the textbook on the subject, 2012 Science and Prophecy of the Ancient Maya. He's also one of the few who can actually read Maya hieroglyphs. The Maya not only did not predict an end to the world or the calendar, but they predicted that things would go on for thousands of years after 2012. Still, for Nico Sanchez, it's not a risk he's willing to take. That's my son Giovanni. He's 10 months old. He says there's too much on the line. I would rather be looked at as a kook and know that my family has a chance of survival than not have any survival chances at all. Okay, so the end is nigh. Anything you'd like to tell me? <laughs> Anything? Oh, man. The world, it really, the, the world is ending. Before the world ends, though, I'd like to, I'd like to meet that reporter for the world ends. <laughs>